Hello, ninth class. What's up? Hopefully, you all are fine and happy. Today, we will learn chemistry, chapter four, structure of molecules. The topic we have here: uh, metallic bond. We will discuss today metallic bond. So, let's see what metallic bond is actually. Uh, well, uh, if you go uh, to the definition of metallic bond, the bond formed between the metal atoms is called. Is called what? It's called metallic bond. In simple words, if I explain. The uh, in the metal atoms, the bond exists in the metal atom is called is called what is called metallic bond. Well, in simple words, we can say. Well, when we talk about metallic bond, we uh, come to a point. What is that point? We come to a point of properties of properties of metals. Of metal atoms. Well, there are so many properties, but the, the the specific property is they have tendency to lose electrons. They have tendency to lose electrons. Well, they did it. They have tendency to lose electrons. Why they have tendency to lose electrons? Uh, because there are certain reasons. One is they have greater size. They have large size. The metallic atoms have large size. That's why they have tendency to lose electrons. And the second one reason is they have low ionization energy and the third one reason is third one reason is they are the electrons into the outermost shell are not tightly packed that means are loosely attached well if they're loosely attached then the electron has tendency to lose itself when the lose uh, suppose we are talking about sodium atom here if you are talking about sodium atom, there is only one electron into the outermost shell of sodium atom. Well, and after losing one electron, it becomes sodium ion. What it becomes? Sodium ion after losing one electron. When it becomes sodium ion, then we can see here the diagram. If you show diagram here, then we come to a point. It's mentioned into your book. Well, after losing, because in the the sodium atom has only one electron. After losing one electron, it becomes sodium ion. After losing one electron present into the outermost shell of sodium, it becomes sodium ion. This is one one electron. Well, if we talk about the structure that is given into your book. The structure, these are the sodium ions after losing the electron. These are the sodium ions. Well, if these are sodium ions, we can also write here potassium ions. Any metallic ions you can write here. Or any metallic atom you can write here. Well, Indeed. Well, these are the sodium ions. These are the sodium ions. These are also represent sodium ions. And after losing one electron, because there is only one electron into the outermost shell of sodium, after losing one electron, it uh, moves here. It also electron, one electron here, one here. Here and here. You can see here, these are the electrons that are. Well, these are the electrons. Well, if you talk about the electrons here, these are the electrons. Here you can see, these are the electrons. These electrons move freely. These electrons 
move freely. Why do they move freely? There is a question. Why do these electrons move freely? There is a question. These electrons move freely because, because of what? Because there is a reason behind, because they are not tightly packed. Because they are not tightly packed, because of the, the force of attraction of nucleus held by the outermost shell. They are not tightly packed. That's why they are loosely bound and move freely. They are freely move and movable. They are uh, mobile electrons. The same thing we are talking about. Freely move. They can move freely of mobile electron just because of the reason. Just because of the reason. There is one reason. Because they are not tightly packed. The, the force of attraction of nucleus is negligible held by the outermost shell here when we talk about the sodium atom. Clear? And they, these electrons are not bind with the specific atom, with this atom. They can move. They can move from from here and there you can, they can move. And they move freely. Clear? And this is all about the metallic bond. Well, thank you so much.